Hi everyone, this is going to be a short one and um, here is my uh, Amstrad uh, 6128 um, I was I somehow wanted to play a game after many many years I, I was trying to uh, to see if the um, this drive is working um, and here is a pop quiz of the day what if you have a disk inserted and you have this uh, message on the screen uh, well after so many years you can easily understand the belt uh, has been cut ruined or whatever uh, so we're going to be replacing just that today there is no doubt that uh, 6128 uh, was one of uh, the biggest hits uh, from Amstrad um, and it was very very popular uh, around the globe now a few things we can say about the discs uh, is that they are um, uh, double-sided and uh, the user needs to actually remove it and uh, flip the disc uh, in order to access the other side uh, contents and um, its side has uh, an independent write protect switch what can we say the sides are named uh, as you can uh, imagine A and B and it is formatted to 180 kilobyte uh, each um, if I remember this right 2 kilobytes used for directory and 170 something uh, used for storage um, to give us a total of uh, 360 kilobytes uh, per uh, disk now this is going to be a short video no worries just uh, you know the procedure you have to flip over the machine remove the uh, screws um, and uh, remove the uh, keyboard upper part detach it from the bottom side also please uh, do not forget to remove the screws that um, are holding the disk drive to get uh, together and in place you can find this um, on the right side where the disk drive sits generally uh, speaking it is a good practice to browse over the motherboard or uh, uh, the components uh, here we can see the Z80 the processor in a socket yeah just to see that everything looks okay to the eye before we move and uh, start working with um, with this drive on the side uh, we must de uh, remove it um, for a while we're gonna be removing the couple of screws that holding this metal base on the left side um, and those two and um, uh, the one down there holds the ground cable as well so please don't uh, forget to put it back once you uh, are done now between the main board uh, and the uh, disk drive you will find this uh, ribbon the ribbon that actually connects and this shield um, again well we shouldn't forget to put back uh, this ribbon actually connects the, uh, the puts together all the um, and this uh, the the cables on the back at the back uh, is the uh, power uh, needed uh, for the drive the disk drive so uh, power connection and data connections uh, at the back and we should remove those jacks before uh, we attempt to change the belt and those um, data lines and power lines are going straight to the motherboard uh, as you can see so just a quick uh, glance again that everything is fine nothing is worn or torn or um, nothing suspicious um, just to make sure that everything is in place and then it will be um, removing the disk drive so we can work uh, better and um, we're gonna be removing also the connections those connections uh, coming from the uh, power lines from the motherboard and the data 
uh, connector uh, which sends the data and receives data to and from the disk drive. And now it's time to remove the ribbon cable. I think it's 25, 26 uh, pins there and um, the power line as well. Um, and this is why we need 12, 12 volts to operate the disk drive. Um, that's why Amstrad uh, 6128 has an extra um, power line to uh, get 12 volts from the monitor. Just a couple of screws here to remove the controller board for the disk drive so we can reach uh, uh, to the um, motor and the big uh, roller um, inside and then we can uh, start uh, replacing the um, and checking the belt um, before we close it up and that will be all this is going to be a short video and this is an easy and very classic um, repair um, just uh, make sure you have all the screws that you need uh, try not to lose anything because uh, there are uh, quite a few uh, for the Amstrad 6128 in total uh, so let's get on with uh, replacing the uh, belt we can remove the whole uh, controller board um, but uh, I don't think it is needed uh, it gives you plenty of uh, space to work uh, even uh, without removing this uh, control board uh, completely. We have reached the motor. I have just removed the uh, the previous, the old uh, fossil of whatever uh, used to be uh, once upon a time a belt in here. I'm going to show you how it looks like and I'll be back. like this a true fossil one thing we need to um, look carefully at uh, is the um, any any leftovers any particles from the previous belt this uh, again this uh, true fossil here um, around the motor uh, and the, the, the little motor roller uh, the metallic one or the big plastic one uh, that spins the disc uh, and uh, once we know that everything uh, is cool and clean uh, we should be re uh, replacing the um, the new belt one little uh, trick I do is to put the belt uh, to the to place the belt on the motor and on the on the inner circle of the big black rotor just to see that there is no anomaly in the movement. This is not the right way to put it. Uh, it should be on, um, to the outer part uh, but uh, for testing uh, the movement and uh, checking for uh, leftovers um, you can try this. I think we should uh, play a bit with movement, uh, moving the, the roller and uh, check that uh, th um, the movement is absolutely smoothly, absolutely smoothly with um, uh, no resistance at all and then we can move the the rubber the belt uh, to the outside part connect the connect back the little um, uh, cable that uh, puts the power uh, to the motor um, and it needs to get this one go to get back to the controller board and we're done And here is exactly uh, how it should look like. We have uh, half opened the uh, controller board so we can work uh, underneath. We have to put back the, this little wire which goes uh, uh, right there on the controller yeah, board to give power uh, uh, to the motor. And then we, we have put um, the belt uh, to the right position, the outside part of uh, the outside circle of the roller and uh, yeah let's put it back together and check it uh, in real life now one other thing I strongly recommend and a uh, trick I do is that uh, when I put back everything together 
for the first time um, I do not screw everything back until um, I only uh, get the results uh, that I need to to see so for now I put everything back together without the screws um, the disk is inside when we're going to ask for a catalog to be shown on the screen so we can see what is inside it if uh, this drive actually works so uh, it goes like um, disk drive A uh, side A select game so apparently it is working I'm going to run the uh, menu and check what is uh, in there I haven't seen this for years um, and what we have uh, is ping pong game and the super test so I'm gonna pick one just to see that everything works fine and wait a bit uh, when at the same time you can see the LED flashing which means uh, data are actually flowing around and the game is loaded um, yeah and it's a uh, ping pong from Konami haven't seen this for many many years so I think we're good it is an easy fix you shouldn't have a problem I have done this uh, quite a few times without any problems uh, the disk drive is uh, quite reliable on the Amstrad and um, I'm gonna check again with another disk um, just to make sure that everything is fine and then I'm gonna screw it up and uh, call it a wrap for the day um, so yeah just bear with me for a second I need to see that the LED is flashing this is important uh, that indicates that um, it's been uh, reading and loading um, and everything looks okay so far and I'm typing like catalog and loading um, the next game which is Skyfox for those who remember um, and this is the second disc I think everything is fine um, it was an easy uh, fix and a quick fix for today thanks for watching uh, consider subscribing and you know the drill comments uh, suggestions uh, ideas whatever you wish you can put it um, to the uh, section down here below uh, and uh, thank you so much uh, for watching I'll be back with another video shortly bye